The other workshop we want to get for you today, what are the closing costs for buying a home? What are the closing costs for buying a home? If you're in the market to purchase a home, you may be wondering who pays the closing costs. Typically, buyers and sellers each pay their own closing costs. Today, I'm going to talk about the closing costs associated with buying a home. Buyer's closing costs. When you buy a home, there are closing costs. These are costs that go above what you are paying for your down payment. Closing costs are your out-of-pocket fees used for items like getting your home loan, having the house appraised, getting the title transferred into your name, and so on. Your closing costs can range between 2 and 5% of your loan amount. This means if you're taking out a $200,000 mortgage, I know I'm using a small number, but you can multiply it by 2, 3, 5, whatever you need to. If you're taking out a $200,000 mortgage loan, closing costs could range from $4,000 to $10,000. The amount a home buyer has to pay in closing costs can vary a lot depending on the price, location, and other factors. Typical closing costs paid by the buyer include an origination fee. This is the fee from your mortgage lender used to set up and process your application, verify your documents, underwrite, and close your loan. Appraisal fee, if you need an appraisal. This is the fee to have your home appraised. Now remember, the appraisal is not telling you what you should pay for the property. The appraisal is telling you what the value uh, what the value of the collateral is to a lender. That's all it is. What the appraiser's assessed value of the collateral is for the lender. You have the right to pay more if you want to. That's your choice. Title search and title insurance. A title search ensures that your new home's title is clear and no one else can claim rights to the home or property. Title insurance provides protection against undiscovered claims. Upfront mortgage insurance or funding fee. Some home loans require an upfront fee to ensure or guarantee the mortgage. Government-backed homes like FHA, VA, and USDA mortgages all have upfront fees, though you can roll these fees into your loan amount instead of paying at closing. And in some instances, they're waived completely. Discount points let you buy down a, to a lower interest rate by paying an extra fee at closing. Should you do it or should you not? Don't know. We can put it together a total cost analysis for you to see if it makes sense for you. But I'm not going to ever tell you that discount points are not good because we're using them a lot right now to help a lot of families. Escrow. Escrow is a set up. So that you prepay money that will be placed in an escrow account and dispersed as necessary to pay for your property taxes and homeowners insurance. You'll also have your own your down payment due at closing, but but this typically is not thought of as a closing cost. Any earnest money you paid when you made an made an offer on the house will be credited towards your down payment at closing. The type of mortgage you choose can also have a big effect on your closing costs. And the biggest of these is mortgage insurance. Before I go too far on that, I do want to let you know, there are two different usages of escrow. In, in California, we use escrow companies. They're like the middle part, middleman, the third, an independent third party or a, a third party referee, so to speak. That Their job is to read the contract and make sure everybody follows every rule of the contract as opposed to escrows or impound accounts which is an account set up to hold your the collection of your property taxes and homeowner's insurance. Two different uses of the same name. Type of mortgage you choose can also have a big effect on your closing costs, and the biggest of these more is mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance, or MI, is paid when you put less than 20% down to buy a home. The mortgage insurance helps protect the lender. Most mortgage, mortgage insurance is paid your monthly payment and considered an annual payment However, there are some loan programs that also have an initial mortgage insurance premium that is called Upfront Mortgage Insurance Premium, UFMIP, and maybe do it closing as well. Let's look at some of these types of programs with Upfront Mortgage Insurance. FHA, Upfront Mortgage Insurance, again, that's the UFMIP. The first program is FHA loans, home loans, which require annual mortgage insurance and an Upfront Mortgage Insurance fee. The upfront insurance fee is equal to 1.75% of the loan amount or $1,750 for every $1,000 borrowed. Despite its name, FHA, Upfront Mortgage Insurance, 
does not have to be paid at closing. Most borrowers roll this into their loan rather than pay it with cash. Rolling UFMIP into your loan will greatly reduce your closing costs, but it does mean you'll pay interest on the fee over the life of your loan. The VA loan funding fee. VA loans do not require annual mortgage insurance, but they do require a one-time funding fee due at closing. For first-time home buyers, the VA funding fee is usually equal to 2.3% of the loan amount. Buyers who've used the VA loan before will pay 3.6% of their loan amount. If you make a down payment of 5% or more, the VA funding fee is reduced. VA home buyers also have the option to roll this fee into their loan amount instead of paying it along with their closing costs. There are also special exemptions for disabled veterans. So you want to make sure and chat with our team about that as well. USDA guarantee fee, like the FHA loan, the USDA home loan program requires both an upfront mortgage insurance fee and an annual one. USDA's upfront fee is equal to 1% of the loan amount and can be added to the mortgage balance to reduce closing costs. It's important to be aware of all the costs associated with buying a home so that you have enough money to pay your closing costs. If you're not sure, give us a call. We'll cover all the closing costs and your options options for you. There are several costs to be aware of when buying a home, but the great news is that our team is here to help throughout the process. Again, give us a call at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Happy to go over all of this with you. As always, if you have any friends, family, or coworkers looking to buy, sell, or borrow on real estate, that's what we're here for. Give us a call. Again, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.